Okay, so it's the 29th of June, 2024. I've finally finished my uh, build of the road bike. Um, took me eight months to do. It's been built uh, from parts uh, from Chain Reaction. When it was closing down, I got some really good uh, deals on them. Um, I'll put, uh, or at least I'll try, if I can remember them all, or the, the parts list uh, on the screen, what I've used. Uh, so it's basically like chain reaction stuff, like prime wheels, um, what do you call it, a uh, Vitus bike frame, got that more than half price, £600 for a carbon frame. Uh, not ridden uh, a road bike for a long time, I feel really weird in this position, it's very strange. Uh, the group set I've used, it's an L2 one, the ERX. There's no way I could have afforded a uh, electronic group set uh, like from Shimano or SRAM. Uh, get past this. So the ERX group set fitted on fine. It's a Shimano type of group set with the uh, uh, battery in the seat tube uh, everything worked fine uh, I have seen um, YouTube I have seen YouTube videos uh, commenting on its uh, problems with water ingress and stuff like that but I don't plan on riding it rain anyway. Uh, nothing too bad. Um, the problem I've come up against, which I was surprised about, uh, because I never even thought that it would be a problem, but the front derailleur cannot adjust it properly. I mean, it works, it does its job, but it's binding on all the time. Well, not all the time, uh, but the certain gears I just can't get into without it binding. It's such a narrow uh, cage on it, I find a bit annoying to be quite honest with you. Everything else is fine. Uh, I'd, uh, I would have preferred a more Shimano type being fully wireless. As it is, it's just the uh, the uh, thingies, the, uh, the uh, what do you call them? The shifters. The shifters are fully uh, wireless, and like I say, battery and seat post then cables go into the uh, derailleurs uh, but it seems to work fine yeah it, it is what it is uh, I'm just taking it for a test drive right now uh, I'm not convinced I've tightened all the bolts up uh, I wish I had some uh, arm pads and knee pads as well but <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had some knee pads and arm pads as well. <laughs> I have come a cropper before when I use some cheap Chinese forks. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm just getting used to the uh, controls on them as well. I find them a bit confusing. Um, I'm changing down when I should change it up, and I'm changing it up when I'm changing it down. It's something I've got to learn. So the other things I've got from China, Express stuff is the uh, the crank. Yeah, there's the crank. 
Like I said, because my fault is the full railing. I've actually you've got two one millimeter spaces uh, between the crank and the bottom bracket. Uh, which I don't like doing, but uh, it has helped it a bit. I do feel these shifters are a bit low down. I sort of wanted to bring them back a bit, up a bit. Uh, I tried doing it, but it's so hard to get to the adjustment screw, bring them up. Uh, uh, yeah, I definitely want to light her up sort of there. But I put wrapping on now and stuff. It's not easy to do. Oh, it's also so hard. I've had to tighten them up with the ball end of the uh, Allen key. Which, uh, not it's not designed to have too much torque put on on the ball end, is it? So, I mean, fire. So, look at the oh. I do catch the buttons as well. It needs to be a bit more clickier. Uh, just get around this corner. So the cassette I've put on, it's a uh, 1132 tooth mono block from China. So this super steep hill, super steep. It's going up it fine. Uh, yeah, I think my seat post is going down a bit. Need to tighten that up a bit. Uh, and a good excuse to stop. Right, so I've uh, just ironed the seat up post a bit. I think it was slipping down a bit. Like I say, I thought I tightened it up enough, but no. Uh, yeah, it seems to be going okay. Like I say, these did need to be ironed up. I really don't like where they are. It's probably where they should be, but. Uh, so the cassette, 3211, that's what I'm saying. Think there anything else to say? I'll put maybe a voiceover or something. Yeah, that's something that I know. Seems to be riding okay. It's very strange doing on these narrow wheels. Oh, my tyres be 32C, uh, 32 uh, millimetres. Um, ah, that's where it's, but I can, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Still uh, binding on a little bit, don't like it. Stop and see how much. Ah, I didn't bring my phone, did I? Did it bring it in? I would have stopped now. Have clippings as well. I've not had clippings for a while. I think the cage needs to go around a bit more. Yeah, maybe the cage needs to go around a titch more. Uh, yeah, let's move the chain. Uh, I don't think this is. Now, where can I park this thing now? Uh, let's get it down to the gate up here. 
I've only got single sided, oh yeah, the pedals I've got, they're uh, Shimano's, I can't remember what they name, I'll say I'll put a proponents list best I can on the screen, uh, for my own information as much as anything. Uh, yeah, single sided clipping was, the old mountain bike uh, pedals, you know, the SPDs, uh, but they're only single sided and they do kind of look like the road bike pedals, the same sort of shape of them. By no intention of getting road shoes, so so I went for a 32 teeth circuit out because I was like living at Peak District and uh, some hills. In the bike, I broke. Um, it was it was 28 at top. I mean, right, I've managed with it. As I'm getting older, I'm losing muscle mass. adjusted the front railer a little bit, don't know whether it'll make any difference to anything. That was a consideration, obviously, uh, but also because uh, I just think it's more durable. I'm very suspicious of carbon, that's why I've never had carbon bikes before. But because this was cheap, the frame, so yeah, I'll give it a go. Getting a bit used to controls now. Yeah, everything seems to be working okay, I've not come across it. So. front wheel. I'm really not mountain bike for about three years or really the uh, other drop bar bike is very much a gravel bike, really high stack. Corners touch thin wheels. No, they are 32 mil, but to me, the thin wheels. Oh wow. I don't think it's binding. I think maybe it's some noise I'm hearing, it's just the newness of the drivetrain changing around the big cogs. It is 11 speed, but obviously being uh, electronic and you've got a choice of 10 to 11, I think. It's the, uh, yeah, uh, it's not the RX version. I've just had a go for the uh, aluminium group, aluminium finishing kit on it all. Uh, so, uh, with the electronic uh, 
a group set work for the I think it's called an ER9 which is the aluminium version of the ERX but yeah nothing's fell off it so I must have tightened everything up I'm just reaching too far forward I don't think it's the stem that needs to be shorter or anything like that yeah, I think it's just I think it's just uh, I think it needs to be a bit higher up I'm really sort of falling into it although I have been on a mountain bike for the last three years so maybe that's just how it is so I think in the uh, frame felt quite supple but like I say I do have quite high volume of tyres That's me done, just my short test ride. Uh, yeah, short test ride, ride, new bike, put together over eight months.